Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get inside this Dell One uh, machine. It's an all-in-one unit, so that everything's inside this thing. Uh, so if you wanna get at the hard drive, you wanna do a memory upgrade, uh, this is where you find out how to do it. All right, so you, to, for this, you're gonna need two tools. We've got two screwdrivers, just a bigger one and a small one. They're Phillips, star head. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it flat, so make sure there's nothing, no screws or anything like that on your table. We're gonna lift it and drop it down. All right. Okay, once we got it dropped down, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna see two screws. There's gonna be one down here, and then there's gonna be another one over here. So we're gonna grab those two screws out. So I'm just gonna grab the bigger screwdriver here. I'm going to pull that out. There's one screw. I think they stay inside there. They don't come out, but you gotta loosen them. I'm gonna take out this one. And it's out. So now they're both sticking out. So what we wanna do now is this whole plate will shift back. There. There we go. Actually, it shifts, it shifts, shift it back a little, just a little and then go forward with it. It actually shifts forward because you won't be able to go back because of the arm. So you're gonna shift it forward and it comes off just like that. Set that aside. Okay, now uh, we are almost there, but we still don't see hard drive, we don't see memory. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take off the, um, you know what, let's take off the stand because it's kind of in the way. So we'll take the larger screwdriver and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Uh, the black ones, we're gonna take those off. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, and it's already kind of loose. So let's see how this comes off here. All right, and off it comes. Now I've got the power plug still plugged in there. I'm just gonna unplug that. I think this uh, power plug's a little loose. Let's see here, put this aside. All right, so we're gonna put that aside. Okay. So it looks like we've uncovered the hard drive, which is right underneath the stand. Uh, if we want to go a little further, uh, over here on the side, you're going to take a look and there's some screws here. So we've got uh, a screw there, a screw there. And there's actually a little arrow. You'll, you'll, you'll see a little arrow, L4, L4. And then there's a couple more up there as well. So we're going to take those off. Now what we should find under there is probably, since we don't see it anywhere else here, uh, we're going to find the uh, memory modules under there. So let's take a look. And I'm actually not just guessing here. There's actually a diagram if you want to take a look at this etched logo right here. It shows a picture of, uh, it says RAM. And over here it says hard drive and it has an arrow pointing that way. So let's keep this going. Actually, um, I'm actually going to save you a little bit of work. Um, you can take this whole thing off, but it actually has a small door here. And I, I believe that's just for the memory itself. So let's take a look. And that is correct. So there, if you just want to change the memory in the hard drive, you're good to go. Uh, let's say it's something a little further and you want to go uh, into some of the cooling fans. Uh, maybe they're noisy, you want to clean them out or something, and you would take off this other metal piece. And I'm using the smaller screwdriver for this. Uh, okay, I think, I think, oh, we've got one more over here and one more down below. All right, so you just pull that straight up carefully and you have access to the cooling fan for the uh, CPU and uh, the cooling fan for the, um, the chipset. So, all right, uh, what else can we show you how to do here? Right here to take out the hard drive, it's got two handy luggage handles here. We pull that straight up carefully. Before we go all the way, we unplug the uh, dual SATA power and SATA cable and we've now got access to the hard drive. So that's it. It's actually not that difficult uh, to get into this machine. So um, yeah, if there's any other questions you have or any other videos you'd like to see us do uh, on hardware, uh, leave a message and uh, a like down below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.